Hello everyone, Mike from Newfound Past. Get over here in the chat. What a morning. <laughs> um Morning, Michelle, your first. Morning, Justin. Good morning, John. John's. <laughs> David. No, Dad's Vintage Gron is John. I've got Piper John on my list here. Gina. Yep, I shaved for sure. I figured that's the first thing people would notice. Morning, Craig. Morning, Fran. Gina. Philip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, uh, it was just getting on my nerves. I was when it started affecting my sleep. I was like, I gotta get rid of this thing because uh, basically I'm a side sleeper, and you know the pillow mashes into my face, and it felt like needles sticking into my face. You know, it'd wake me up, so I couldn't couldn't do it anymore. So I shaved it. Good morning, L. Yeah. Makes me look a lot younger without all that gray. It's all still there. It's just a uh, you know, stubbly. <laughs> uh, one good announcement I have this morning is I'm officially monetized. I uh, got the approval yesterday. So, so that was big news, I guess. Doesn't mean much, really, but uh, it's good to have it over with. You see my cat back there? <laughs> He's climbing his cat tree. That was hilarious. Yeah, I was just... Yeah. Good morning, Heart of Dixie Flipper. Thanks, Fran. Uh, yeah, it was a long road. I mean, I started this channel in May 2018. And honestly, I didn't think it would happen this fast. You know, at the pace I was going from May to like November, it would have taken me another year <laughs> to get to this point. But, you know, with the help of the usual suspects, they uh, pushed me uh, over the top. Yeah, it does. Jesus saves it. Uh, Makes me look a lot younger. Morning, Gail. Um, um, not a lot, uh, nothing to pack today, but because uh, yesterday's sales, all of them happened before my mailman ran, so they all got out yesterday. I have one small one actually upstairs, but it's just a tiny first class package. I just got back to listing uh, two days ago, you know, so there was like a two week period where I didn't list at all super effect sales, you know, and I knew that I knew that going in, but my redo is almost complete. I got a pile of recycling behind me right there. That's going to be taken out Thursday and I got to bring my bins down from my dining room. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, after that, I got some new lights on order. I know you guys noticed my last, uh, haul video, which we'll talk about. The uh, the lighting and the sound was not good, but that is an effect of the redo, and uh, hopefully that'll be better. Now, hopefully it will be better. So, oh, hey Steve, Steve the pick and flipper, yeah, makes me. Look, it probably takes ten years off, doesn't it? I went from forty two years old with the beard to in my thirties again. That's good. Three, three, Craig. I, I wish I had three. <laughs> but like I said, I knew, uh, I knew exactly. Good morning, Marcy. I knew that uh, I wouldn't have much. But the, the sales I had yesterday were, I had some doozies yesterday. I had some big money sales yesterday. But uh, thanks, Marcy. I think it's the glasses. No. <laughs> But yeah, the monetization, I, you know, uh, Justin just got his approved a few days ago and uh, got mine yesterday, which I thought was was really quick, actually, on mine. I thought it would be another week or two. So I'm happy that that is done, you know. <laughs> hey, thanks, Jason. Replaced, I'm actually Mike's twin brother. No, <laughs> I don't have any brothers, so I got two sisters. Good morning, ADDG. 
I don't think I have your name on my list. So if you want to hit me with your name, I'll put you on my list. Get my pen out over here. Uh, just yesterday, Marcy, uh, yesterday I got the email. Yeah, one of my dogs uh, came up and sniffed, wants attention. Good morning, Sean. How's it going? Oh, thank you. Uh, is it Caney girl? Caney? Caney? Adam. Okay, I got you. ADDG is Adam. I'm surprised I didn't have you on my list before because I know I've seen you in the chats before. So. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> sorry. Uh, when you have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, you got to have both. I hit my watch hours uh, a month and a half before I hit my subscriber numbers. And some people are flipped. Some people have their subscribers before their watch hours. So it's just, um, yeah, just how it goes. So, so once I popped over that a thousand subscriptions, it automatically put in the application for monetization. But the, the process usually can take up to two, two months, I hear, but it only took a couple weeks for mine. So I was, I was lucky on that. So, yeah, good morning, 36 Chevy. Good morning, Shamrock Pixie. Yeah, hump day. I know people hate that commercial that, <laughs> Mike, what day it is. Mike, 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 Mike. I think it's hilarious. Still, they just started playing it again. <laughs> and Shamrock Pixie is destiny. Okay, I'm going to write that down. Got you. Yeah, four thousand watch hours. It's a it's a grind. <laughs> well, like I said, I actually hit my watch hours before my subs, which is actually flipped from the way people usually do it. Usually, people get their thousand subs before their watch time. But uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, it is, Marcy. <laughs> hey, Na hey, Nathan. Thanks. Yeah, you like it? Look a lot younger. It was, it was twofold. I couldn't, you know, it was affecting my sleep and I know we're far away from spring, but when I dive, I was going to have to shave it anyway, because my mask, if you have hair, your mask won't seal. You know, your, uh, your goggle mask. I was doing this. You should do this. You know, you have your regulator in your mouth, but your mask won't seal. So well, good morning, Cindy. Uh, Cindy says new in chat generally working, but on light duty right now. So home and trying to organize after this week after moving this week, not allowed to push or pull home oh, that sorry to hear that my wife has issues with her back going back to her time in the Marine Corps back in the early nineties. And she still, it still affects her to this day. So it's a tough, tough grind. Pick and flipper is Chris. I got you. I'm going to have to start a second page. Maybe so pick and flipper is Chris. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't have any kids, Fran, but uh, imagine it would look like this a little bit, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Family Flips is a, he's a, has a good sub. He does uh, truckloads, which I used to do back in the day, and uh, got him pushed. I mean, hopefully with tiny help, but for me, not very much, but he got pushed over a thousand subs. Now he needs his watch hours, which is the way it usually happens. But I was absolutely opposite, which is odd. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, we get down to Fredericksburg every once in a while, Cindy, but not for much for sourcing. When we're down there, we do hit some spots, of course, because that's what I do. We, we like to go down there because we like to have Texas Roadhouse every once in a while. And it's the closest one in this area. One of the, I mean, for a chain, it's one of the best steaks or prime rib you can get for the price. So. Yeah, we like Fredericksburg. It's just too, it was, we looked at everything in this area when we're moving here, but Fredericksburg was just too far away, too far of a commute. Uh, my wife works in downtown DC. So. Oh, that's awesome. It's, it's just passing it on, man. Because like I said, uh, 
I've went through this before, but for the new people, when I first started out, you know, of course I had nothing. We all started with zero and that's the way it is. You start out with zero. Um, you hopefully get family and friends and stuff to get you up to however many, you know, I had like 15 or whatever. And, um, somehow Andy, the parrothead picker saw one of my videos, you know, and he liked it and he gave me a shout out and that got me a hundred subs instantly. So I went to over a hundred, just bam, just like that. And the second one to give me a shout out was Justin RVA flips. He was the second and uh third John, the Cincinnati picker had me on for an interview and fourth, the, and none of them was more important than the other, but a big push was, a uh, Scott, the beard picker. He, yeah. I don't know why they hid that John. I'm going to show him. Yeah. So Scott was the big push. I got over uh, like 300 subs from his push. I went from low 800s to now I'm over 1200 in a sh very short period of time. So it's good to be monetized. It's good to be eligible for super chat, you know, because every dollar helps, you know, uh, ad revenue is just pennies but you know it adds up over the year so and really i mean you can't lose sight it's not about money it's about and i, I had to remind myself doubly so this morning it's not about money it's about helping people that need to be helped if you're new or not in the industry we can all learn something my mantra is learn something new every day which i do you know so <laughs> somewhere yeah i love prime rib Prime rib with some creamy horseradish. Mm. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for popping in. Yeah. Yeah, the gray didn't help me out any. <laughs> yeah, Marcy, that happens a lot. Uh, family and friends don't get it. My, my sister's really into it. My sister watches my channel. She works during the day, though. I'm sure she would get into the chat. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, John, just that's what you have to do. You start with nothing, and you just start creating, and, you know, keep on keeping on it gets discouraging whoops silence that phone call i got there <laughs> yeah that's how you found me when i was on with scott and you know scott you know has over forty thousand subs now so that was you know to get 200 off him was probably actually low but uh it was nice i'll take anything of course Yeah, it'll it'll come with time, Marcy. You know, kind of get your content beef up. Like I think I'm over a hunt. I'm over. I'm a 69 episodes. What I consider an episode is my hauls and my sold videos, and with these live videos, which I don't consider episodes, I'm over a hundred videos now. So uh, a lot of content, a lot of work, a lot of time. Yeah, good community. Just like Heart of Dixie said, really good community. Yeah, and, and I don't know if everyone in here has channels and videos, but a lot of people in here do. John does, and Marcy does, uh, Craig does, the Land Shark Picker. Yeah, so go check each other out. I think I'm subbed to everyone, but I'll double check. Uh, Patient Picker, do you sell on Amazon too? Right now, I only have some merchant fulfilled stuff. I haven't done a, a FBA shipment in about a year and a half. But that's something I do want to get back to in this year, but it's just finding the time. Time, time, time. Like yesterday was just, I blinked and the day was over doing stuff. Uh, between this redo, I actually listed some stuff yesterday. I had to go get my, I went and got my teeth cleaned, the dentist, and yeah, before I knew it, bam, the day was over. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy. It comes nine o'clock and I'm about ready to pass out. So, yeah. That's awesome, Marcy. Let us let us know when you get a uh, an episode up or whatever. Marcy said she started working on a new subject. She's going to make a series about. And that's real good. Craig's almost to three hundred subs. It's good stuff. Thanks, John. Have you finished organizing? Is up to production. Um, Nathan, I'm about eighty percent there. Uh, I still have bins in my dining room that I got to get down here, and I got I just got some new. Uh, mounting brackets for my photo lights yesterday and I got to get those installed but thank you patient picker appreciate it uh, Cindy said I found you with a referral from YouTube the others who I subscribe to were watching you that's awesome I'm glad that's working because we wouldn't know that that's working unless you tell us so I appreciate that Cindy
I, I don't know, Marcy. I saw a key key. What's his her? Oh, a kitty kitty. <laughs> I don't know which one's behind me. If it was the orange one, his name is Hobbs. Oh, there he is. He heard me say his name and he went, I'm right here. Come here, buddy. Hops. Come here, buddy. This guy. This is Hobbs. Usually he's very affectionate. But today he's like, I'm not so sure about this. We have him and his brother Gatsby, who is a big fluffy fluff. But they're good boys. Uh, let me scroll back up here. Family flips, Marcy and Lynn Shark just subbed you off. That that thank you, dude. That's awesome. The family flips is your is your name? Am I wrong? Is your name Alan? I, <laughs> I'm, I'm my mind is on one cup of coffee and no food. So Marcy's waiting for her FBA app to process. That's cool. I wish I'd have been an FBA a little bit sooner because I'm gated in so much stuff. I know I can make a killing on, but uh, that it is what it is, you know. Twenty four picker. Do you ever source books? I can't remember if she said before. Uh, selectively, very very selectively. Um, I probably am going to start beefing up on that more because that's a really easy entry into FBA's books. So, and I know that I just got to take time to do it. <laughs> you know what I love about the people that come in the chat is the um, the positivity, the positive vibes. You know, I had some negativity this morning and it really irked me. And uh, I'm glad you guys are the ones that participate in vibes because that's what my channel, I want my channel to be about. I want it to be about positivity, helping each other. You know, um, the thing this morning wasn't so bad. Actually, I pinned the comment on my last haul video just because I you know, found it so funny. I don't know. Irksome, but funny. Because basically it goes down to uh, philosophy. Someone didn't think I could get the prices I'm quoting or or I'm getting the prices that I have on my sold videos. I'm an open book. My uh, eBay accounts are listed in my description on every video. Go look at my solds. Do it. Um, yeah. Like I said in my reply, the proof is in the pudding, you know. And, and it goes back to philosophy, and I've talked about philosophy a lot, but you have a lot of different philosophies from um, slow dime, which I kind of am, to quick nickel, which a lot of people are because they need the quick capital turnover. Um, and a lot of us are in the middle, too. I am, I, when I list, I list at the very high end. Like, I find out what my comps are, and I list above that 10 to 20%. And... Just this year alone in 2018, scores of times, maybe even over a hundred times, I have set the high water mark, the high price on an eBay sold. So, yeah, just because philosophies differ doesn't mean that I don't get the price that I'm asking for. You know, sometimes I take an offer on stuff. It all is fluid, you know. So, um, but I want everything to be positive, you know. Um, and I do definitely want it to be known. I'm not an expert in anything. Never have claimed to be, never will claim to be. I'm a kind of a jack of all trades, you know, do your research. Yeah. But I just don't like negativity. I don't like negativity in my life. Uh, life's too short, you know, so get back to the chat here. Sorry for that little rant to just, I was really irked at six o'clock this morning to start your day like that. Uh, let me see here. Thanks, Kenny girl. He appreciates that. Oh, Marcy, you're going to clean out the garage today. Whew. That's the way I, I got to do that come spring. It's too cold and rainy recently, but this spring I am going to do, to do a garage clean out as well. Garage clean out and redo. Yeah. Patient picker. It was, I, I just, when I shaved, you know, I also shaved my own head because I don't have much hair. You know, it's the way it is take after my mama's daddy but uh i think there was more hair from my beard than my head <laughs> when i was done uh, oh, let me scroll back up here 
Oh, Marcy was talking about Hobbs. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, that's okay, John. We understand. Sounds interesting, Marcy, your new series. I I'll definitely watch. No, you're gated in those categories, Sean. Sean says uh, Disney, Hasbro, and Funko are killing me. Uh, yeah, they're all probably gated, aren't they? Yeah, books on Amazon are kind of like coffee mugs are on eBay. That's the low cost, easy entry point, you know. So it just takes time, you know, it's sitting a thrift store, you scan books. You'll find stuff that you can make money on, bottom line. Yeah, you'll definitely need that scale, Jason. Uh, <laughs> uh, we all, all of us, when we start eBay, have made mistakes on shipping. And the, the main, from when you list your item, get that accurate shipping and take into account your packing in your box. That can be up to a pound for just packing in box or more, depending on the size of an item. Yeah. We were talking about this morning, weren't we, Craig? When Craig says, just kick it and move on. Yeah, kick them and move on. But <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I guess so. Marcy, Marcy says she likes the transparency. But uh, yeah, there's negatives to it. That's for sure. Um, but. You know what I say, the people who want to be negative, to go out and do it yourself. Make your own channel, put yourself out there and see how easy it is, you know. I'm a doer, not a a negative person. Exactly, Marcy. Uh, Marcy says, seems to me that the negative folks don't put themselves out there on YouTube. They just hide behind a keyboard. You're absolutely right. So once they put in the work and the time and uh, put themselves out there, they'll figure out that they're not flawless. They're not a, a perfect little flower, you know, that doesn't make mistakes. Do, do I make sourcing mistakes? Absolutely. I have bought stuff when I got home that had a hole in it. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> and But that's part of it. You know, I get in the thrift store and get to, ch I try to go fast, you know, because time is money, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Can Candy girl says, I hate the price low. eBay keeps wanting me to pri lower prices. Yeah, they, they do. They do that suggested pricing. I never use their suggested pricing. I'm always higher than their suggested pricing. Sometimes much higher than their suggested pricing. Still make sales. Go check the solds. Oh, that's awesome, Marcy. Yeah, Florida weather. I lived in Florida for a little while, just briefly, less than a year. <laughs> Piper John, my cat, my cat meowed, and his cat looked up and around trying to find the other cat. That's pretty funny. Well, thanks, EMM. That's awesome. Thanks for popping in. Trying to catch up with the chat. I'm sorry, people. I'm lagging here. Yeah, Craig talked about shipping. It can kill you, if it, especially coast to coast on a heavy item. That, that's probably the biggest mistake people make when they're beginners is under under uh, estimating shipping. You know, so just be careful with your shipping estimates. Twenty four picker asked, uh, "Does anyone here do uh, Mercari? Heard about it, but I've not tried it. I haven't tried it. I'm. I feel like I'm spread too thin as it is, so I'm not gonna." Uh, try that one. I do uh, 
eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, and Etsy. Limited amount of Etsy, just for vintage stuff. But uh, yeah, those doing just those, I feel like I'm spread too thin, so I'm not going to jump into anything else right now. Yeah, learning what to buy, Craig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've thought about getting one of those myself, can you girl, a, a scanner for books, so it's a quicker process. I'm, I'm considering making that jump. If anybody's used one, uh, uh, pop a link in the chat and tell us what you use, a scanner for books. Uh, Marcy asked, uh, would you be willing to share your sourcing duds? So us newbies, can yeah, I may do that, Marcy. Uh, one of the parts of my redo is I'm going to weed out some items, and I may just set those to the side and just do a video on those. Like, bought this, I'm either pitching it or donating it. <laughs> so I may do that once we uh, or do our inventory, get our inventory complete. Command post picker, my fellow Marine, how's it going? Oh, no look on your eye run. That's, that's the way it goes, doesn't it? You know, hit and miss, just like the thrift stores, retail arbitrage and thrift stores, the same thing. Some luck, some, sometimes you have great luck and sometimes you don't. I'm on a really, really good streak on thrifting. Uh, and I expect it to come to an end anytime now. Yeah, who cares about the look, Sean? What are they going to do? Just like these haters on the comments. Patient picker asked, do you use the eBay shipping estimates or do you measure weights and then post your own ship? Use your own. Do not use eBay shipping estimates. Uh, they're sometimes they're accurate, but I don't trust them. <laughs> They've been inaccurate enough that I'm not going to trust them. So <laughs> that's funny, Marcy. I mean, get you a red vest and, you know, Get a discount at Salvation Army. I don't, I don't even know if they give discounts, honestly. Uh, family flips used to do free shipping for everything, but changed. And now when things get about, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I do calculated shipping on pretty much everything. Sometimes first class shipping, I'll do free shipping. But uh, I think calculated is the way to go. And I've done both ways. <laughs> Steve, that's funny. Don't have to look like Hank Williams Jr. no more. No. Yeah, let us know how that goes. Uh, let us know how that goes, L. L got L is a 24 picker and, and uh, she just got the KDC 200i. Good morning, Lex. How's it going? Yeah, I understand that crystal. The uh, uh, fur is a challenge, as you know. I have, you know, fur babies, as people call them. I have two dogs and three cats, and uh, that's why I mo you know, uh, uh, my big coats and jackets get stored in the garage where they can't get to, and my other clothes get folded up and poly bag and put into bins. So, yeah, but it's still a challenge. I have lots of lint rollers, lots and lots of lint rollers. That's awesome, Craig. Forty bucks. I'd definitely take the plunge on a scanner for that. Yeah, it's a chore, isn't it, Marcy? I have about, I don't know, 2,000 items I need to inventory. It's going to be brutal. We're probably going to start on that on Saturday. That's good to know, John. Uh, a lot of the thrift stores I do go to have like hundreds and hundreds of books too. So, um, yeah, okay. it's almost like a library. So at some of these thrift stores I go to, I still give them a good, you know, quick breeze through because I can pick stuff out every once in a while. But man, yeah, Christmas stuff is still selling. I just sold a big Christmas item a few days ago. So congrats on that command post picker. 
I am still getting used to okay let me see uh, okay I'm on two I'm just gonna see if anybody else wants to pop in here um, Just post the link to our group to see if anybody, any other flippers, pickers want to come and chat. Um, Cause that's all, <clears throat> that's all the stuff I had for this morning. Like I said, uh, sales were pretty dead yesterday, but the day before they're really good. Um, for those that just joined in, I, my am, uh, monetiz excuse me, my monetization was approved yesterday. So I'm monetized, which is great. Um, those few pennies help out. And, uh, no negativity. Be positive. <laughs> that was the two things I had today. Um, well, that's awesome. Uh, I got two KDCs for the price of one, plus used my eBay bucks and negotiated down the price to ten. That's awesome. Need to do that myself. I love stacking stuff. Yeah, you can kind of tell, John. Yeah, I get that. You can really, you know, I understand being able to tell. I can breeze through books and tell pretty quickly if there's going to be, you know, something decent or not. Yep. Thanks, Will. Uh, Will is Honda Hangouts. Thanks for that. Yeah. Yeah, Jason, uh, calculated shipping, that's the way to go. Yeah. Some people do free shipping, uh, and I've tried it both ways. I've tried calculated, which is where the buyer pays for shipping, and I've done free shipping where I pay for shipping. Of course, I've baked in some of that cost into my price, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty much sticking with calculated, uh, free shipping on some first-class items, and uh, free returns. So. Smell just came through. Well, no problem. Patient picker says they're new and just trying to get you know beefed up. Yeah, and that's you know what. No matter how experienced someone is, and I, I did my first sales on eBay in 1998. Um, still learn something new every day. You know, everything changes. Everything evolves from the way you source the items you sell to eBay rules and regulations and policies, it all changes. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Steven. Steven asked, how many of your subs think this is a religious channel? Huh? I don't know. Is thrifting a religion? <laughs> well, thanks for popping in, Family Flips. I appreciate it. Carol H asked, "Do you ever lowball on eBay after Christmas?" I have, I have a lot on, but so did a lot of other sellers. I cut my price low, started moving. Yeah, it's all on your philosophy, Carol. You know, I'm pretty much a stand pat, and I will take offers on stuff, but uh, no, I won't go down too drastically. So, just like that big Christmas item that I sold, it'll be in a future sold video, but. Uh, I had it listed for a hundred bucks and I took 85, you know, 15%. That's fine. That's fine with me. It's the people that, you know, if I have something listed for a hundred and they offer 30, no, not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. That's what a lot of people do. Crystal. Yeah. Just like I was talking about the first class and stuff. Yeah. Pirate ship. Love pirate ship. I'm doing everything through pirate ship now. Uh, pretty much. I have, you know, all my eBay stores, my three eBay stores integrated. My Etsy store um, is all integrated to Pirate Ship. Amazon does Cubic now, so, you know, no reason to do that. But uh, you know, the only time I'll check other places if uh, 
FedEx. Uh, sometimes I'll check FedEx on some larger items that are going coast to coast. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> Christopher Cruz. Why did you shave your amazing face? <laughs> I didn't. Even, yeah, sorry. I was talking about it earlier, and it just got too annoying. Like it was affecting my sleep when I was laying down. Uh, a side sleeper. It was like it felt like needles were pushing into my skin. It was so coarse, and uh, I just had to get rid of it. Couldn't stand it. I like my sleep too much. I was getting bags under my eyes. <laughs> I was uh, getting black and bags under my eyes. So. Uh, sorry about that, Nathan. Yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty much doing my uh, my live chats um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know I didn't do one this past Monday, but things were weird. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. And then the hangouts are just a variety of channels and sellers for a variety of times. So. Uh, Brandon Jones asked, would free shipping be better, especially for returns, pack more on the selling price? You can do that, and uh, philosophies differ, but the main reason people order, offer free returns is it gives the, you know, the buyer assurance, and with free returns, you as the seller have the option, if you don't get the item back in the condition you sent it in, you can cut the refund uh, up to half. So, yeah, that's the good thing about uh, free returns. Pick and flippers, so much has changed since it started in uh, eBay in 2007. Took a break and came back after. Yeah, it's a whole different animal. Whole different animal. That's awesome, Craig. Thanks, Lex. Appreciate that. I didn't shave down to the skin, but I took my, you know, electric trimmers and just. <laughs> Um, sometimes Lex, uh, Lex says my eBay shipping price are equal to what pirate ship offers. Um, sometimes that is the case. You know, if you have top rated discount, it's, it's pretty much equal because pirate ship has the commercial plus discount, but the, the big difference where it comes in and this has been talked about ad nauseum, but, uh, cubic shipping, um, if your item qualifies for cubic shipping, which are certain parameters and between the size of the package, the weight of the package and where it's going. If it qualifies for cubic, that can save you significant money if it qualifies for cubic shipping. So it's worth checking. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Dawn, Dawn, two hip chicks asked, what do you see as pros and cons of setting the auto client officer? The pros are you don't have to put up with people's lowball nonsense. You know, it's not in your mind. It's not in your headspace. Um, the cons is, well, what if you're sick and tired of an item and you're willing to take 80% off on it? <laughs> so, and that happens, you know, uh, not very often with me, but I know that a lot of people that happens to, they're like, I'm sick of this being around. I want to get rid of it. So now yeah. basically the pros are, you don't have to mess with a bunch of people's nonsense, you know, and the cons, of, you know, whatever you make it. Uh, even on larger items, it seems like USPS is beating FedEx lately. And that, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's 50, 50, basically for me, if I have a really large item, if it's, if it's a really, it, this is just a general rule of thumb. This is, can't be every circumstance, but I'm on, I'm on the Virginia coast and literally the water is 200 yards that way. Um, if something is big and is going close to even like Ohio, Georgia, you know, Maine, um, Postal service is still usually the best, but if it's going uh, west of the Mississippi, most of the time FedEx is best, but it's worth checking. Thanks, Kent. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. And I've also heard Don about um, with offers, if you go back and forth, they can raise your item ranking in the algorithm i've heard all kinds of stuff what what's true and what's not i don't know i don't know anything about algorithms you know just what i people see what people post and read 
but uh yeah thanks cindy i appreciate the the pump up every speaking of algorithms every interaction whether it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down i prefer the thumbs up of course uh helps with the search algorithm and youtube so that's why you have all these people going smash and all that crap on youtube uh, videos but hit it if you want to whatever <laughs> yeah work craig talked about workload you yep. and goofballs that's exactly what i was talking about Sean is uh, don't don't take up space in your head, you know. Uh, Jason Tyron asked, "Do I need to store starting on eBay?" No, absolutely not. Uh, if you're just starting out on eBay, you're going to be severely limited on the amount of items and uh, the dollar amount of items you can list. Usually, fifty items. Not usually, it's fifty items. And start with that. Start get get your fifty items to the max, and just build your account. And once you get up closer to the 250 items and your limits have raised, that's when you start thinking about getting a store. So, and a lot of times when you're new and if you've listed and you've hit that 50 item limit, eBay will send you specials like, Oh, list a hundred more items for free. So look out for those as well. <laughs> not, I'm not that, I'm not quite to that point Marine, but the, uh, yeah. I think I have your name down here. Or maybe I don't. Command Post Picker, what's your real name? And I'll put you on the list. But uh, Command Post Picker is a fellow veteran Marine. But uh, I'm definitely not shaving down to the skin. But my haircut will qualify for sure. <laughs> uh, let me see here. Carol, if you have a lot of items do you do seven to ten day listings or 30 days what you think best um a lot of people will do good till canceled i do 30 day just because i like to kind of reevaluate my items after 30 days but a lot of people just do good till canceled but i, I never do seven to ten day listings that's just my personal preference um yeah absolutely craig uh, Steven, when you run a sale, what percentage off work good for you? Uh, I rarely run sales, but if I do, I usually don't go over 20%. Um, and I'm considering doing one now, but I don't know. Uh, I just need to get back to listing because the biggest thing that affects sales is listing every day. In my opinion, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, Lex says, I love seeing what people offer if they low ball you hit decline go down a dollar i have done that like so uh, like some items slip through the cracks and i don't have auto decline some things i do have best offer on some i don't you know it just depends but uh i had someone literally i had a coffee mug listed for like 20 bucks or something somebody offered a dollar for it and i had it listed for uh 19.99 i shy a counter offered 1998 it's like if you're gonna be a jerk i can be a jerk too you know so yeah but it's good just to just have auto decline set up because like I said, taking up the headspace and you're like, what a jerk. <laughs> Can, uh, Candy girl, uh, Craig is awesome. He's an awesome dude. You can link your channel, Craig, if you want to you link it in the, in the chat and people go subscribe to Craig. He's a really, really good dude. Uh, let me see here. Uh, it's good to have goals, Lex. Lex wants to get 500 up. Uh, I mine. I had my main account at bumping a thousand for a long time, but the holiday sales bumped me down to the 800. So my goal is to get by the end of the month get that up back up to a thousand uh, listings, which is doable. I think the past two days I've gotten. Um, uh, 26 listed the past two days, which is not enough, but you know, something's better than nothing. Nothing. Uh, yep. Caney girl says, uh, started in October and eBay has been throwing free listings at, at them since then. Yep. And that's good. Take advantage of them. I and mean, the bad thing about them is they're usually a short, small window. So you really got to be prepared and to jump on those, but, uh, 
Dawn, does eBay still have issues with multiples of one item refreshing as the original? Uh, not recently, Dawn. I know that was an issue, but not recently. I don't know why you're not a uh, give a hand out a ranch here. On to hang out to with Will is now now has a wrench. That is a great idea. The the nineteen percent sell. Oh yeah, and Glenn, Glenn, what's up, Glenn? I sent out. I don't know. If, are you? Yeah. There's Craig's channel. Go subscribe to Craig. He's a good dude. <laughs> Scott, the Walmart commented on your rant video this morning. I'm going to go back and watch that, Scott. Maybe I'll respond to the Walmart comment. <laughs> I went on a little mini rant this morning myself. It's a day for rants, I guess. Uh, don't give him too much crap, Lex. He's hurting. <laughs> I like that philosophy, Scott. Sometimes you're the windshield, other times you're the bug. What's that? That's a country song, right? I can't remember her name that she sung that song. Sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug. I wish eBay would uh, give sellers a chance to decline, a buyer's decline. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, why not? You're always in here all the time, Lex. So, you've got another one. Uh, pick and flipper hard for me to get inventory up traveling around the country in RV. I have to balance it. That's awesome, pick and flipper. Um, that's one of my dreams. Like, in, in the next probably 10 years from now, I'm going to have an RV and a trailer behind it, and I'm just going to have the trailer packed with basically hundred dollar plus items, you know, and just still travel and still flip once my wife is eligible for retirement. And then that, like I said, that's about 10 years away. So that's our retirement travel around the country and still flip. It's going to happen. Yeah, Max Hustle, I wish there was a better notification for eBay's free listing promotions. I don't get them in the email. Yeah, and that correct? And it depends on what you're subscribed to on your emails. Sometimes I'll get the emails on my third account. Sometimes I won't. But basically, you have to check the page every day, which I know that stinks. But, yeah. Uh, chat's rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, Scott, Walmart said they're concerned about my experience. I, yeah, I, that's the customer service way. Now, if you complain about something, they go contact us and we'll work it out. Yeah, they just all they want you to do is contact them and they go, sorry, too bad. More often than not, uh, the only exceptions on that that I've had recently is Chewy, where I buy my pet food and stuff. Those guys are Johnny on the spot. Literally, you can. Uh, don't abuse this, of course. It's just like people that abuse the L.O. Bean warranties and stuff like that. Uh, just crazy stuff. Crazy town. People would find L.O. Bean stuff and return it to the store for a new item. Not ethical at all. But uh, Chewy, like I bought a cat food that was making one of my cats sick. You know, and I um, think I bought two bags of it and I had one open, you know, and one uh, unopened. I would just contact them to see about returning the unopened bag. You know, I was making one of my cats sick. They refunded both bags and said, donate the unopened bag to a animal shelter. No big deal. And I was like, man, that's customer service, you know. Morning, Beast Slayer. Yes, you did, Lex. You got a wrench. Happy Festivus. <laughs> I may send you a gift card. That'd be awesome, Stephen. They sent out a gift card. Wouldn't expect it. But... Yeah, 
Yeah, Paul, that is travel and flip, that, that is our end goal. And we've talked about it, you know, so. Chewy does rule. Uh, Carol says, I'm a small picker and prefer older item sales. Don't like new items very well. If I run up into great selling items, there's some way I can alert other sellers. Sure. <laughs> Just get in one of these chats and uh, let us know. Uh, we are all on Facebook as well. You can find all of us on Facebook. Uh, Piper John, he has a Class A motorhome. One of the reasons I don't sell large items, they can't that can't fit in my inventory. Yeah. And that's why, you know, we talked about our philosophy on that. You know, obviously you can't sell huge items, but you know, you limit your items to, you know, we talked about just like once that time comes going through my inventory and weeding out all the under hundred dollar items, you know? Yeah. Sean, uh, Instagram is a good one as well. Facebook is probably best, but, uh, yeah. Command post pickup. Yeah, for years when I owned my uh, brick and mortar stores for all the new subscribers and stuff, I owned uh, brick and mortar stores, two of them for 10 years, for a decade. Decades a long time. <laughs> they seem like they're flying by now, but the uh, decades a long time. I sold a lot of furniture when I owned those stores, uh, and I wouldn't want to do it anymore. It's just I'm throwing my back out too easy now. Yeah, Lex, my larger items are basically limited to like that big ceramic Christmas tree I bought. That's about as big as I want to go. <laughs> like right now in my garage, I have a piece of mid-century modern furniture and I just, and we bought it and it was a good deal, but I just don't want to do that stuff anymore. Too hard to flip, too hard to move, you know, even if it's a good deal, I'm just like, yeah. There's always exceptions. Though. I say that. <laughs> Like if I went into a thrift store and I saw a piece of, you know, a mid-century modern dining room table and chairs, I know I could flip for three grand and it was a hundred bucks. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Even if I have to hire some help to move it, you know, so. <laughs> Justin's in the Facebook chat we have going. He stopped in at Goodwill. He said he wasn't going to source all of January, and there he is in Goodwill. <laughs> uh, I told him, I was like, you know, I don't want to source either, but I have to, but I'm really, really picky. You guys have saw my haul videos. I'm trying to be super picky. I'm trying to even be more picky. Are you back yeah. from sourcing, Justin? Yeah, I've seen those haul videos, Mike, and I'm telling you, you're underpricing your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I hear you tell them what these things are going to sell for, and you're racing to the bottom, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Mike? How's it going, guys? Oh, man, people. When are good people going to realize that one shoe doesn't fit all? Hey, is Michelle in here by chance? She was earlier. Um, okay, I just I just ran into her brother at the oh, Goodwill. Yeah. Hey, Michelle, I just uh, I just ran into your brother at the Goodwill. He was on the phone with you. I told him to tell you hi from, from me, so hi. <laughs> Oh, we had some cat lovers in the chat. We got my other one wanted to say hello. This is the one, Justin, that had the uh, sex change. Okay, that's a pretty cat. I uh, love the color. He's a part Russian blue. Yep, yeah, he's a, he's a big boy. He would have died a decade ago if he wouldn't have had that surgery. Oh, wow. Yep. He's a big boy. Uh, but like I said, that was back when that stuff was affordable. Now it's outrageous. Yeah. Uh, did you already get your shipping done, Mike? I, did, I only had one thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> I yesterday. Well, now it's outrageous. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't. Sorry, that was me. I was just. I had to mute. I was trying to pull up the chat. I uh, sales for me haven't been horrible. They just they've been kind of ho hum. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, two days ago, I had great sales when I didn't do a video. Of course, I know. Yesterday, just meh. But yeah. I just got. I just got back to listing two days ago. So. I'm I, I'm down for like two weeks. So I'm down 27% month over month. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. I can tell you exactly what I'm down. People, and that's the other thing that people, that person that made that comment about high sales, everything's transparent. Justin and I are both the same way. Everything is our stores there. Go look at our solds. 
uh, last 31 days, I'm down 25%. But fully expected because I have not listed anything. Yeah, I'm like down significant. I, part of it's on me though. Like uh, I got to figure out, like I love doing the working hangouts, uh, but when I'm hosting them, I find that I, I'm, I, I want to like engage the chat and I'm not as productive. Like if I'm on someone else's channel, I don't feel the need to do that as much, but uh, I got to figure out a balance there. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, because you don't want to just people just sitting there <laughs> silence, you know? Right, exactly. So, uh, yeah, sure. Paul Lewis has a good question. Aren't sales in January always lower compared to the rest of the month? No. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it depends, really. I mean, potentially, there's potential for slower sales because people are paying off Christmas bills or whatnot. But like, it depends on what you sell. For us, like who do like some used clothing and whatnot, it, it typically can be pretty decent uh, time of year because people are actually buying for themselves again. Yep. Last year, I think I did fine. I, there was no drop off, but this year there was strictly because of the redo I'm doing. I didn't list anything for a solid two weeks. Yep. So. Yeah, I'm getting ready to. I just wanted to pop in here, say hi. Yeah. And uh, I got to do my shipment, and then once I'm done with shipping, I'm gonna get to work. I got I got really hit it hard today with listing. I didn't tell you this morning, and you just popped in here. Uh, officially, my oh, you, you saw it in the Facebook group, but officially monetized as of yesterday. So yeah, man, congratulations on that. Thanks. Uh, that's awesome. Enjoy making those pennies. I don't know if you saw what I sent you uh, on the thing. <laughs> But uh, if I keep it up at the rate I'm going, I'll be able to buy myself a salad from Chick-fil-A in about three weeks. That's right. But it'll be a tasty salad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, congratulations. Uh, uh, you know, just keep putting out the good content and, you, you know, the channel will just get better and better. But you just got to understand, man, the bigger a channel gets, the more, the more eyes are on it and the more potential for, you know, people to be less than than fun on the internet you know people get behind a keyboard and unfortunately in the society we live in um there's too much allowance of anonymity and so when that is a at play people can say or do whatever they want you know what i mean yep but and like i talked about on your yeah. channel this morning i will never get mad over someone that has a different opinion or they want to give a suggestion that's fine but don't say, I think you're lying to me. I think you're misleading people. I'm not. I will never mislead anyone. I'll never lie about anything. And to me, that's attack on someone's character. And that's where I get pissed off. Well, especially, I mean, you share your store. Like, I mean, I, I know your store. I can go look at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't, like, if I can go on my computer. Like, it's what, like, yeah, like nowadays you, you could fake anything, right? I could fake a screenshot of my eBay and look, make it look like I'm doing 40,000 a month when I'm not, you know, that's easy, Photoshop. But if we give you our stores, you can go and look at what's going on yourself. You can see how great or how shitty our sales are. It, it, you know, it, uh, it, Mike is transparent in that fact. I mean, I, I know his store. I can go and look at it anytime I want to. I know his Poshmark closet. You know what I mean? Like, I know all, like, you can't you can't fake someone you can't fake a store right you can't fake sales on ebay like you could it's just look you know proofs in the pudding like mike said in his comment um go look at his store i mean right now like he's like me sales are down because a he hasn't been listing because he's been working on his remodel and two it's just that time of year but you know we share all that stuff with you guys you know and I'm not saying like if you don't necessarily if it's right or wrong. That's a personal opinion. As far as I think, I do think there's more credence to what someone says if they put their store out there for people to review. But absolutely, yeah, you know. And and I've you know I've full time full time flipper. I mean, you could consider the store's own flipping because I did flip stuff. But you know, my main source of revenue was other vendors and flippers and dealers. You know, they paid me to sell their stuff, which is a good good thing to get into but uh i've been doing this for full, you consider full-time flipping for 13 years so so that person can do it better put them they need to put themselves out there you know so all i know is uh i'm not on welfare i live in a pretty decent house and i've been doing this for a decade and a half so <laughs> Yeah, and you know, end of day, it's not. I, I mean, for me, it's like I don't do this necessarily. To, like, yeah, you know, the, we're not I'll, getting rich, neither of us. But can we make a good living? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I you know, I'm not claiming to be like some like crazy amazing i i mean i don't even think i'm that good of a reseller but i'm good enough to make it work for me full time yeah you know what i mean I know it, you know your resolution is just like, you know jumping into mercury and all that stuff i'm like man you're a beast because i feel stretched thin already as it is i don't want to add another outlet you know <laughs> yeah you know it's just i'm just like trying to expand you know to get into different stuff and it's fun for me, man. You know, and I, I've been finding, and this is going to sound silly because I've only been doing it for about a week and a half, but like, as I am beginning to lose a little bit of weight, I have noticed my energy level is beginning to go up. So, um, if I can continue down that path, I really think I will have more energy to really put into the business and into the YouTube. But, but like, more importantly, YouTube for me, it's fun and I enjoy doing it. I love hanging out with people, but in the, the day, my business is my reselling, you know, and, uh, that's where I got to, ultimately put my focus because that's what's paying my bills that's what's keeping lights on that's what's keeping you know my mortgage paid so um you know that's why i was so irritated right off this morning when i jumped into the facebook group i'm like you jerk i spent i take time away from what really makes me money to try to help people and you're gonna be a jerk about it you know <laughs> yeah you know you can't it's it's one of those things man look you're not gonna please everybody like i you know i sure i'm sure on monday when i did my little uh, hell ride video which was actually, it wasn't really planned. It just kind of, it just came out and it is what it is. But when I did that, I, I know I ruffled some feathers and, you know, I had some people like, in the comments that were upset with me and, and I get it. But at the same time, I'm not going to apologize for, for like, if, I, if I'm confident enough to get on camera and start talking, I'm going to stand by what I say. I'm not going to cower back. You know what I mean? Like I may say like, hey, it's an opinion, but, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but you know, <laughs> those thing too that you know we're not robots. We're human. We make mistakes. We we have opinions that you know. People that make those comments and you sent them to me, and that was just some seriously off of one video. They're gonna get in a twist that bad. Yeah, I mean, you know, it is. Ignore weird. all the other content. Ignore all the other good stuff. Yeah, and it's not it's not like like you know I I didn't intend for it to be like this like drama video. I mean that's why I purposely I didn't you know, name anybody out or I, I was speaking of a practice I see that happens in general across the board, you know? Um, but like, yeah. And then like with your stuff, it, it, it's just, it's just silly. It's all, it's all pettiness. It's really, it's really high school esque. Yeah. Um, Which is probably what I hate the most is pettiness and immaturity. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's okay to have differing opinions, like uh, dissenting opinions, you know, prof like I said, talked this morning a little bit, you know, I call them professional differences, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, it's fine. Like it's, that's what makes the world go around, go around. We live in a day and age where everything is black and white and people forget that there's a spectrum in between, you know? Mm, absolutely. Yeah. So there's that yeah. minutia. People call it gray areas, but there's minutia and everything for sure. Exactly. I'll tell you, Mike, you got rid of the uniform, man. I'm, I actually I have, I'm actually looking at the hangout. Where is your beard? Don't you know that's part of the reseller? <laughs> reseller uh um yeah. uniform. you gotta have some sort of facial hair i'm telling you justin i, I tell in the chat this earlier that of course that's the first thing people notice but uh it was affecting my sleep and people are like what and i was like well i'm a side sleeper and it seriously it felt like needles were stabbing my face and i couldn't stand it i was like getting black bags under my eyes because it was affecting my sleep so i shaved it i've never heard of a beard impacting someone's sleep but hey man i've heard weirder things so and maybe it was the coarseness of the hair or something, but it does. It just felt like it was like stabbing my face. See, man, I put this is this is probably t not TMI like in a bad way, but <laughs> I, I condition. I put con I have beard conditioner. Yeah. So I, I condition it so it doesn't. It's like nice and soft. Like my my face feels nice and soft. Like it's a. Uh, it feels like a like a, if you were to pet like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> So next time Justin has a meetup, everybody just go up and pet his beard. No, please, please, please don't do that. Yeah. But it is. It's a, I, I use beard conditioner. Yeah. It was I just should. time to go. And I was telling people anyway, it's not that time of year yet, but it, it was going to have to go eventually anyway, because when I go scuba diving, I would have to trim all the hair because my uh, mask wouldn't seal. Oh, yeah. So, that makes sense. Yeah. I would be too scared to go scuba diving. I'm kind of a chicken when it comes to that. Oh, you get down to about 60 feet and you flip over on your back and look up. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm sure it's amazing, but I would be afraid like the oxygen tank would like become disconnected and I wouldn't be able to get to surface on time. And dude, I, I'm like one of those guys that thinks everything in like the worst 
possible case scenario that way i can plan for the worst so like my motto in life is is plan for the worst you know um hope for the best and just hopefully you'll end up somewhere there in between so you know you know it's amazing as part of the the they call it open water diver your certification you go through the classes and part of the class is you're not down too deep but you're down like 20 feet and uh one of the things they teach you is they turn off your air really turn off your air and you go back to the surface and it's you can get back to the surface on one breath easy you know because you got a couple things going for you one thing you're you're still you're you're uh, what they call buoyant neutral you know but you can make yourself go go up easy by just blowing to your uh, inflated bc your buoyancy compensator you have a manual inflate and if you have a breath in you can just breathe into that and you'll shoot right up to the surface oh that's cool yep and quickly too you know so yeah it's one of those things i probably like i would love to do just like skydiving but i'm too chicken to do either one <laughs> Um, I, mean, I was kind of used to the water from my time in the Marines, so they pretty much yeah. drown you in boot camp in the Marines. So I believe it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what, you know what I should do is exposure therapy. Is I should, I should uh, skydive in a scuba suit in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Fins flapping in the wind. That'd be a picture to have. Yeah, do that and do a video. I bet you it goes viral. Oh, dude! If I did, yeah, it, the, it, it would be like on the next Faces of Death compilation. <laughs> <laughs> They, I don't think they still make those, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Back oh, in the about, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, good morning, Denise. Good to see you in there in the in the chat. That command post picker says he lost his razor when he got out of the Marines as well. I haven't found it since. Yeah, I lost my uh, razor and my will to exercise when I got out of the Marines. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, I never mind. I get it. I get it. Sorry, because you had to keep it clean, like shaving. Oh, yeah. Super clean. Yeah, like straight razor clean. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking. I was making a joke about someone filling your beard. Well, if you're in, in inspection, the Marines they would they'd come up and fill your face. You know. <laughs> but we'll probably only be on here about ten more minutes. Everyone, I appreciate everyone in the chat. Hit that thumbs up. We got seventy watching, which is amazing. I have, we have the best watchers, subscribers on YouTube. I will say that till the end, even with the one or two malcontents, you know. <laughs> Holy crap, Mike. You got 72 people in here this morning. Yeah, They're awesome. Awesome people, awesome watchers. I had to do this to get all that negativity out because I have so many positive fee people that come into the chat. So, And I, I'm just telling you, man, like, just expect, like, you know, I'm in the same boat as our channels grow, man. It's just you're gonna get more and more of that stuff, yeah. and you just mm -hmm. you don't pay it no mind. It's you know, at the end of the day, it's like <laughs> who cares? <laughs> like, they can say what they want to say, man. We're just gonna keep doing what we do, and and if it's mild, I don't care. I left it up like that one, I pinned it, I pinned the comment. But if you're gonna be overtly, like, horribly awful, I'm gonna ban you, I'll ban him or your butt. You know? yeah, my thing is is this like i don't even like i when i first started i was holding my comments because someone said i needed to do that and i was like you know what i really don't even feel like doing that because it was too much work to go and approve everything i don't hold my comments if i go into my comments and i see someone being overtly sexist or racist or talk or like talking crap about someone else um then i, I usually just i'll just delete it you know right out but like you know if people can say what they want to say about me i mean i don't care like whatever like <laughs> you know like uh, it's. I, mean, I think I, I've only removed one comment the entire time, which is not bad. You know? Yeah, I, I only ever remove people who who start n by name talking about other, even if I don't like necessarily like the person, right, on a professional level. Not, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't know these people personally, so I can't say one or the other. But like, as long like when I start seeing people name drop, I just because that just brings in drama and and everything else, and it's just not it's not worth my headspace or time, and it's not. It's, you know, that's not what I want the channel to be about. So I, I'll remove that. Um, if it's like a general comment, I don't care, but that's my main thing. And then of course, like, uh, you know, sexism or racism, there's on my channel. I don't like, I haven't seen anything like that, but I mean, that's something that would also get the delete button. But other than that, I'm pretty like, I don't like if someone comes, I have comments where people, I, 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 I keep it kind of like the wild west over there. Probably a little too, uh, fast and loose with it, but whatever. Yeah, I just happened to be uh I popped into um what's his name? Oh, 
had a live show. Uh, the dude, the redheaded dude with the beard and the funny hat. Uh, oh man, I'm drawing a complete blank. Redhead. I don't know. He did a live show and he didn't even know what ranches were. You know. <laughs> Who is this? He had. Oh God, what's his name? Maybe in the chat will help me out. Uh, redheaded guy. Yeah. He's in the Wisconsin area. Uh, you'll know who he is when I when. No, not Wade. Uh, God, hear me. Yeah, I'll go to my channel here in just a second. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, now I got to figure out who this mystery person is. The only redhead I know, I don't think she's in here. Yeah, you don't know who it is as soon as I say it. But the but seriously, this guy has a ton of subscribers, and he didn't even know what ranches were. He was just like, ah, I'll just let her. I said, man, you need some ranches in here. He's like, ah, people can just do what they want to do. I was like, man, that's insane. <laughs> Cause he has a lot of subscribers. So. Is he a reseller YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm looking right now. Sorry. Uh, I do like resale. I don't think he's talking about resale rabbit, but I do like. Yes, him. resale rabbit. That's okay. Who that's yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. A resale rabbit's a good guy. I, I like him. I, I like his channel. I like him as a good dude. But he's seriously, he, he pays no attention to anyone he didn't even have ranches I, like, he doesn't, he doesn't awesome. care. I mean that guy that guy look i don't i've never talked to him I, i've never talked to him like privately on facebook or anything like that i don't know the guy but that guy like to be as young as he is and like his where he has that warehouse i mean he he does it man like that guy hustles yeah, he hustles. That. he's a hard worker good for him absolutely like i said that wasn't no disparaging thing but i thought it was thought, i thought Found it funny when he was live. He had zero wrenches. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't, I didn't think. Playing with fire. You know? Yeah, I don't. I just, I, you know, I don't even think he's looking. Like he, a lot of times with his videos, he's recording from his phone from in his warehouse, and I don't even think he has like a chat. Hit the chat pulled up, you know, because he has the camera like on uh, landscape mode, so he's not even seeing really any comments too yeah. too often, you know. I mean, that day he was somehow, I don't know how, because he saw my comment. And he goes, "What's a wrench?" <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. But, you know, who was that that had the person that posted the really inappropriate stuff in the chat at one time? You know? uh, that was that was Landshark. Uh, was Craig. 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 Was like, oh yeah. It also happened to, to Chris up uh liquidation OH. Yeah, see, and that's why you have ranches. I'm like, oh man, you're playing with fire. <laughs> well, that's why you don't put the Google Hangout. Don't make the I never I got lucky because I used to put the Google Hangout in my in the working hangouts. I would just drop the link so anyone could pop in. And now I'm like, hey, if you want to join, just message me on Facebook. I'll send it to you, no problem. But I don't put it in the chat anymore. Yeah, I remember when you used to do that. Yeah, and after that happened to Craig, you're like, nope, <laughs> I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> oh, Melissa Soto lives where Resale Rabbit's at. He's doing a warehouse sale this week in her city. She's that, going it's in Wisconsin, right, Melissa? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's in Wisconsin. Yeah. Angle, he is simple. We're all pretty simple, you know. <laughs> if, if he's simple, then I don't know what I am because he outsells me like eleven, like twenty to one. So, Justin and I are pretty much the same. We're like, we're simple as in, can I make money on it? Yes. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that's simple. Oh, Shamrock Pixie's in here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We got to hang out with her for a little bit yesterday in the working hangout. Uh, she's she's cool. She came and uh, we were trying to up our female demographic by having more female faces on the working hangouts because apparently we were told the reason why we're not getting a female audience for the most part, Mike, is that it's too much of a bro show. Uh, <laughs> hey, we don't we don't discriminate against anyone. Yeah, all the females are welcome. You know. So. Yeah. Any if any of you women uh, would love to like you know whenever we're running a working hangout, whether it's on Mike's channel, my channel, yeah. any of our channels, just message us. We'll send you the link. No problem. Denise says uh, resale rabbits rent for his warehouse is at six grand a month. Yep, I believe it. I, he, I mean, that's a that's a beastly warehouse he has. It's very very nice. I mean, put that in perspective. I had my retail stores were uh, ten thousand square feet, which is a significant amount of space, and one of my retail stores was five grand a month, and the other one was sixty two hundred a month. So. For warehouse, that's pretty expensive in my opinion, but I don't know how big it is. I don't know if he has 20,000 square feet, 30,000 square feet. I have no idea. <laughs> Sherry McD says, we don't want to disrupt the bromance. No, man, come on in. We, uh, yeah. like, I always, like, for me, like, last night, I did a working hangout, and um, I never get to, because we are different time zones and whatnot, so I never get to talk to Jason Deason. So he came on, and then I had Tracy Thriftsit 
uh, on the working hangout. And we only were on for like an hour because my wife started fussing at me about being on YouTube all day. She's like, aren't you ever going to get off YouTube? And I was like, she started texting me and I was like, all right, let me, let me pop off. Cause like, you know, when the wife gets mad, you gotta listen. Cause it's not worth the battle. You know that Mike, you've been married a long time. Let it impact your, 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 uh, marital life. no 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 no, sure. no 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 when like uh I, for the most part when the wife tells me to do something i'm gonna do it it's just it's just the way it is man happy but wife happy life you did that one last night at night and i was surprised i was like oh i was like i'm sitting there with my wife watching tv i can't do that <laughs> sorry yeah yeah sean says well it's, no, the, the issue was it wasn't that she wanted to spend we had already spent time earlier in the night you know hung out whatnot no, the issue was uh, my office is uh, so upstairs. We had this room, which is the eBay room, and then right across is the bedroom, and they're both uh, the bedroom slightly bigger than this room. But uh, she was a she was going to bed, and she was getting really aggravated. She's like, "When I hear you talk, I'm just I'm inclined like I my, like I subconsciously feel like I have to listen." So it was, <laughs> you know, it was one of those things. So basically, she's telling you to shut the heck up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. It wasn't that like she was like getting jealous of YouTube or anything. She was just so she just wanted me to to STFU. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah. Married life. <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, and I, I obviously, I'm, you know, she's got to go. She's the one that actually has to go into an office every day. I'm not gonna stop her from getting her sleep. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that's an hour and 15 minutes, so I think we're going to wrap it up. Thanks, everyone, that popped in, 68 watching. I hate to end it because that's a lot of watchers, but uh, hit the thumbs up. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, go to Justin's channel. If you're not sub there, I'm sure you are. I've seen a bunch of familiar faces, so <laughs> I think everyone's crossed, cross-subbed. But uh, know, Mike, you get more female viewers. So any of the ladies in the house, if you're not subbed to me, come over and uh and give me a subscribe. I do a morning show uh really early in the mornings and you can catch the replay if you're not up that early. But uh yeah, I don't want I don't want to just be for the dude. So yeah, Justin and I were talking about demographics and he's 60 40 male female, and I'm 60 40 female male, which is kind of weird. It's weird how that works out. Isn't? Yeah. Because we do basically the same thing, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so come so and I do do a little bit of women's clothing, guys. So if, you know, if you want to see those in the halls, come on over. Um, or if you want to learn men's clothing, I'm a good spot to come to. So uh, feel free and enjoy. I, you know, we're all inclusive here. But thank you, Mike, for having me on. I always appreciate it getting the invite every morning. So no thank you, Thanks, Justin. Uh, guys, my Amazon affiliate links are live. If you guys need anything, just hit those. But appreciate it. We may see you guys later. May not. We'll see. But anyway, peace. <laughs>